Today let's talk about account settings and how to manage your thresholds and zones. First thing you'll do is click your name in the upper right. This will open a window giving you access to settings, help, and if you need to log out you can do that here too. In your account settings, the first page you'll come to is the profile page. Here you can update your password, change your address, or even upload a picture for your profile. Under settings, you can upgrade your account to premium, manage your current subscription, or change the card on file. You can also change your unit preference or date format. Under coaches, you can see the coach you're currently attached to, remove a coach, or request a new coach. Under calendar, you can get a link to sync your Training Peaks calendar with calendars such as Outlook, Google Calendar, or iCal. And the email options is where you'll set your email preferences. Under zones, we have three different zone types, heart rate, power, and speed and pace. Within each zone type, we also encourage you to set different support types. If you have a threshold set for default, um, this is going to be used for every workout that you upload to Training Peaks. And this is important because your threshold heart rate might differ between different sports such as running and cycling. Now it's important to have an updated and accurate threshold as all of the advanced training metrics in Training Peaks are calculated off of this th threshold such as training stress score and intensity factor. Now there are many different ways that you can determine your threshold and different coaches will recommend different tests. Um, for more information on that, you can go to help.trainingpeaks.com. For now, I'm just gonna scroll down to my bike heart rate and I'm gonna say that I set a new threshold heart rate of 170. Now I'm gonna choose my threshold type, in this case lactate threshold. Then I'm gonna choose my auto calculation method. You'll notice that all the zones are automatically updated based on that new threshold. If I have a power meter on my bike, I would set that threshold value here. And under speed and pace, I would set threshold for run and for swim.